So I started as advisor to Loquitur in 1972, my second year teaching, so, and I've done it every year since then. I think the hugest difference was when um, internet arrived on the scene and we were the first college newspaper in the Philadelphia area to go online and to um, switch from the old method of printing to um, doing things digitally. When I started at Loquitur, there were a bunch of PCs uh, in the room and no one was using them. And Dr. Zurich had to give us extra credit in order to write our paper on a computer because we were all still typing. And I remember that very scary moment of switching from my typewriter to the computer. So imagine how far it's come. <laughs> That's a huge jump for an industry. The most important skill that I learned from Liquid Media was just how to take a social justice issue and then look at it through a journalistic lens. So learning to tell creative stories that also had a meaning and a purpose. So during our year, we had a lot of breaking news stories. And I um, am just generally really proud of all the people who jumped on those and covered them in a swift um, yet professional manner. I think what makes Lowood are different from any other school news media is that um, sure, we focus on, on digital stuff and interactive media and keeping up with the times, but it's that social justice lens that makes it different. Um, Dr. Zurich says it all the time, but you can learn about film and writing at any university, but Cabrini is going to give you a specific education tailored to social justice issues, um, and I think that's part of why it's been so successful for the better half of a century. When I was a freshman, this was what the newspaper looked like. It's this kind of heavy stock didn't look much like a newspaper. You can see that they were, we had to type them a certain way so we could estimate how much space they would take so it would make it easier to lay out. To this day, I still cannot read anything without a pen in my hand and I still use the editing sy uh, symbols that Jerry Zorick taught me years and years ago. That's, that is uh, me with hair, um, Sue O'Hagan, Janet Gennaro, Bobby Palomano. And here's a light box. The box would light up so we can see what we were doing more easily when we were cutting with X-Acto knights. And in the later years, we, uh, Dr. Zora got a uh, wax machine, and we used to run these, this through the wax machine, so it was wax, almost like a post-it, where it would be sticky on one side, and then it enabled you to lay it out on this paper that's kind of like graph paper. And this is what the newspaper was going to look like. Here's page one, this is page seven, page six, and so then this ultimately was published. I love thinking about how long the Locuters existed. I am a very recent person that was on the Locuter, but during my time, I remember looking back and seeing pictures of Jay-Z originally in the newsroom, like cutting out letters to put on the newspaper, and just hearing about all of the different ways that the newspaper has evolved is very exciting to me. Memories that are funny in retrospect would be like all-nighters that editors had to do. Um, you know, and how awful they looked the next day, but then how proud they were like two days later when the newspaper came out. I mean, I'm very proud of, what the, of the work that the students have done. You know, I always say that uh, there's never been a missed deadline of, for any issue of Loquitur, and I think that's remarkable. Um, I think it's the longest functioning organization on campus. Um, the, what students have gone on to do after they've been, you know, on Loquitur has been really amazing. And I just am very happy to have been a part of that.